welcome back to part 16 in this episode I will show you how you can work with Java object so let's get started in the previous section um, I work at method overloading for you so if you need this you can go back and see the previous section okay what is an object uh, an object just an object is just reference of a class which which you can assign that in a variable of type of type the referenced class Okay. Class. An object is just a reference of a class which you can assign it in a variable of type the reference class. So, what can do by an object? By an object of a class, you just can call you just can call every method you have inside that class and every variable you have inside that class okay for example now I want to make a method display This method display prints some string, which here is method display. If I want to call this method in the inside the main method, because this method when gets run, which we called it inside the main method, otherwise it will not execute. Okay. So now if wa if I want to call this display method as you can see inside the display method the main method you can you cannot call the display method why because in the previous section we said that you just can call a method directly without an object uh, from a non from a static method uh, from a non-static method okay but if you want to call a non-static method which currently our display method are non-static because it does not have here a static context you cannot call this directly inside a method with a static context because the main method is static method and display is non-static so you cannot call it directly if I put here static then you can call without any problem okay because both of them are static method and you can call a static method inside an static method also so also you can call you can call a 
a non-static method directly inside another non-static method. As you can see, there is no problem. But just you cannot call a non-static method inside any static method. So, what is the way here? Now here you can call it by an object. I said that object is just reference of a class. Here when you make new, it means you will get a memory to your class. So now I want to make an object, I should write new then the class name. Okay. And a parenthesis and the semicolon. This is an object or a reference of class Java tutorials. Now you can access now you can access all the method and all the variable. For example, if I have here some variable integer a double b now you can call all the variable and all the method of your java tutorials class by its object this is the an object of this class so you can call all the variables and all the method okay this is the benefit of the object so now if I put here a point, okay, as you can see now you can call A and B, okay, as you can see it listed here, and display method and also the print method, and here also some another method which comes from the super class, okay, don't worry about that, just see here we can access by the object the a variable and b variable and display method and print method okay now as you can see there is no problem okay display method now if you want to call the print method also Okay, as you can see here, you make an object trees to call display method and print pre method. So here, it is better to put your object of your class inside a variable. Okay, now this variable is not an string or is not a double okay as you can see you are not allowed to put an object inside a primitive variable so the type of your variable should be should be the referenced class okay now I want to copy this and paste it here as you can see it does not have any problem now you can call the display method by obj object and print method by obj object as you can see now you uh, you make once an object and call all the parameter all the variable and you can call the, all the variable and all the uh, methods by this object okay as you can see it works nice here why method display are printed trees because first we call display method and this string gets displayed then we call print method inside the print method we call display method so display method again will print this method display okay this was an object now if you want if 
F1 kal E here A will return 0 as you can see A return at 0 because if you make variable inside your class without initialization if the variable is primitive variable uh, primitive variable then it will populate by 0 automatically if all them is uh, number if you have char c k now if you want call c let's see what will happen as you can see there is no character but if the number it is zero if you have a variable of of type your class okay For example Java okay or J now if I call the J this will return a null okay this will return a null as you can see here is null because inside the class everything you declare if they are primitive variable and number number then they return zero if it's character then return nothing if it is a class variable this is different this called reference variable or a class variable those class or reference variable return null as you can see here it return null okay if you call object dot a is equal to 100 okay then after this is initialization you call the a and you assign it 100 to it and then you can call if you call again those will return 100 okay so this was working of an object thank you for your watching and see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe my channel goodbye friends